Welcome! This Swell Pro tutorial video will take you through the setup and first flight of the Splash Drone 3 Plus. Before your first flight, it's important to familiarize yourself with local laws and regulations. Read the user manual, charge all batteries, and prepare any accessories. Insert an SD card into a camera if you want to record videos or photos. Swell Pro has other tutorial videos that can be found at swellpro.com. For safety, choose an open, outdoor environment without obstacles or people. Open the case and take out the aircraft. Install the landing gears. Then turn on the remote controller and then the aircraft. Before your first flight, it's imperative to calibrate the aircraft. Check the manual for instructions or follow the link that appears on the screen to view the calibration video. After the calibration is completed, please turn off the aircraft. Install the propellers. Ensure that the propellers are in good condition and securely installed. Install the payload accessories, then power on the aircraft. After the aircraft completes its self-test, it may take a few minutes at first for the aircraft to lock on to the GPS signal. Once the controller indicates at least nine satellites detected, the drone will register its home point. Now you're ready to take your first flight. Pull both joysticks simultaneously down and inwards and maintain this position for one second. The motors will idle, ready for takeoff. Now gently push the left joystick up and the splash drone will gradually rise. When you release the joystick, the aircraft will hover in position. The left joystick controls the aircraft ascent descent left turn and right turn. The right joystick controls the aircraft movement forward backward left and right. When landing the Splash Drone 3 Plus, try to land on an even surface. Slowly pull the left joystick down so that the aircraft lands smoothly and gradually. After landing, you can hold the left joystick down for five seconds to stop the motors. Alternatively, after the aircraft lands, simultaneously pull the left and right joysticks down and outwards and the motors will stop. Before turning off the aircraft, remember to always switch the camera to preview mode to save any video being recorded, then turn off the aircraft and remote controller in turn. After flight, please care for your battery. Either allow it to cool and then recharge it for flight, or check that it is approximately 50% charged. For drone battery, 15.3 volts, for remote battery, 7.5 volts before storage. You can follow the link that appears on the screen to view the battery charging and care tutorial video. Remember the user manuals are full of tips and helpful information. Thanks for watching.